Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forza Long Guide called Motorsport in the Making. Now this wants you to own and drive the 1961 Jaguar E-Type to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado, let's take a look at the car in question. Now this is a 61 Jaguar E-Type, it will set you back 150,000 credits but I'm sure some of you guys already have it, if not check out the auction house you might be able to get one cheaper. I have created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon and the share code is on your screen now so hopefully this should help make the challenges a little bit easier for you. Now the first challenge here just wants you to win a road race using your 1961 E-Type which is super easy. Now of course for a challenge like this we head over to the Arch of Muleesh circuit which is where I have a race created for you guys. It's called Forzathon Easy and the share code is 1103168084 and the good thing about this is there is no AI driver tiles so you're guaranteed to win every single time and it'll only take you about a minute to complete because it's just one lap. So that is the first challenge complete and that's really quite easy. Now the next one wants you to earn 10 clean racing skills. Now to do this, we're gonna go back to the same race that we've just done, the Archimilee circuit, and do it all over again. Now as you'll notice, as long as you're not crashing into stuff, you'll keep getting clean racing skills, as you'll see here. Now it goes up in its normal tier of four levels. You've got clean ra racing, great clean racing, awesome and ultimate clean racing etc now all you'll have to do is effectively three races in order to complete it you'll get four in each race um, but to be honest because there's no ai driver tiles it actually makes life quite easy you don't need to fly around the track and absolutely gun it you've just got to be careful not to smash into stuff i.e walls and things that will damage your skill chain really really easy challenge though shouldn't take too long now the final challenge here wants you to earn 9 stars at speed zones, which again is super easy to do and you don't have to get 3 stars on every run or use different speed zones to do it. So normally for a challenge like this I use the main Horizon Festival speed zone, but today we're changing it up and we're going to go to the La Silica speed zone. Now 3 stars on here is only 125 mile an hour and I recommend starting from the right hand side if you want to keep getting 3 stars, but it doesn't matter, you don't need 3 runs of 3 stars, you can get 2 runs of 3 stars and 2 runs of 1 star or 3 runs of 1 star, whatever. Um, so starting from the right you're pretty much guaranteed three stars you start from the left hand side as you can see here you'll probably be a bit slower but to be honest it doesn't really matter at all as long as you get the nine stars that it requires it's really quite simple and you can use whichever speed zone you want you can use three different speed zones if you really want it doesn't matter at all as long as you're in the jaguar e-type now anyway guys, I hope this challenge did help you out. If there's anything you're struggling with, um, please do let me know down below in the comments. Of course, I will try my very best to help you guys out. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if this video did help you out, dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.